Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the next sexual encounter with your crush or your love interest. So let's get into it. We're going to see how the chemistry aspect aspect is going to be um, what random stuff may come up in the reading because, of course, I can't predict the random stuff that comes up. Uh, but mainly I want to just focus on how the encounter may be, um, things that this person may be into. Again, random stuff that comes up and let's get it popping. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe also. And if you would like a personal, make sure you check out the description box. OK, let's get into it. All right. Taurus. Their next sexual encounter with their crush slash person of interest. How is it going to go for them? All right, so we have these, ooh, we have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the World, and the um, the Eight of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Emperor. Mm, so first thing I got is this person definitely likes to take initiative and control. This person is the type to... <laughs> I'm hearing like um, this is a man. If this is a man that you're inquiring about, they like to be the um, the dominant one. They like to take control. They like to take the lead. Um, they're the type where they, you know, may put you in some weird, awkward positions, but definitely some positions to where you can't go nowhere, and you're gonna be forced to kind of get into some things. Okay, I'm still trying to. These readings are so interesting because. It's like, I'm trying to see how far I can go without going so far, if that makes any sense. But let's go ahead and get into this reading. So, Taurus, honestly, I see that this is going to be a really interesting sexual encounter because for one, for a lot of you guys, I think that this is a situation where you've really wanted to interact with this person for a while, but you just wanted to make sure the ducks were in a row um, first before really pursuing like a sexual connection with this person per se. Um, mm. But no, for some of you guys, this is like bait. I'm hearing baby making sex. Okay. Like for some of you guys or all of you, not even some of you, make sure you guys are definitely wrapping it up. If you don't want to end up with the child. Okay. Because this looks very, very passionate and it looks like for some of you guys, this could be due to the fact that you guys haven't spoken to each other um, recently. And the reason why this person may be laying it down the way that they are is because they miss you. <laughs> and they may also be trying to make you miss them as well in the process of them missing you. So if this is somebody who you didn't speak to and you guys went on a break or something, this could be like makeup sex. And then them, you know expressing all their pent-up sexual aggression through sex um, the next time you guys actually do it, okay? Yeah, especially if they've been stuck on you mentally for a while, like it's really going to be expressed through their sexual passion, especially if this is an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, strong Aries energy, um, and possibly a water sign. They're really going to show you a different side of them. Hmm. This person may be the type who likes to get like drunk beforehand, or this may be somebody who may be, you know, a little drunk or even a little high. And that's only if you guys are, you know, of course, if you know this person smokes, but this person may be a little drunk to kind of get liquid courage, not because they can't sleep with you without being drunk, but it may be more of a liquid courage thing. Um, they may feel as if the best way to, you know, get there is by them being drunk. And they may feel like also that may help them last longer if there's a male we're talking about, okay? Um, I see very playful sex that's coming through here as well. So this is like you guys playing in the covers, rolling around, being all extra cute and stuff after. <laughs> um, mm. I 
I'm seeing like you guys staring in each other's eyes. So there may be some very intimate moments in between. There may even be some things said like during sex, like you, don't be surprised if this person says like something crazy or it may not be crazy, but they may say something crazy during sex. Like, oh, um, I really love you. Or they may just start like spilling their heart to you like during sex for some of you guys as well. Hmm. For a lot of you also with the sexual encounter, this may break a barrier in terms of them having like a, a really high wall up. So if you notice that this person does have a hard time opening up sometimes after sex they may be more open to discuss what's going on with them hmm hmm for some of you guys you may make this person really really weak <laughs> like I'm talking about like emotionally vulnerable after sex. I'm telling you because the connection may be so intense and strong that for even a second, they may even kind of like take a step back and, you know, act weird for a second, but then come to and just start spilling all their beans to you, spilling out their heart. This is also somebody who, um, how do I explain this? This is somebody who like initially during sex, they have like all the energy in the world um, and they're willing to do this or that, or they want to do this position. They want to do that position. But then when they get like midway into sex, like 15 minutes into it, they get like exhausted or they get cramps and stuff like that. So this is one of those people where like in the beginning, they're going to give it all they got. But then after a while, you are going to have to kind of pick up the slack and keep things rolling as far as like sex is concerned. So you may have to get on top or something to kind of finish things off because this person may, especially if they're up in age, um, be the type to, like I said, catch a cramp in their leg and, and be done for at that point. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. I hope that you guys enjoy. This was like more fun. Um, if you guys do want to see any other type of interesting readings, leave suggestions below. I'm definitely interested in hearing them. Um, and thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to see more of my readings, make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. Um, check out the description if you want a personal. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.